What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release on YouTube. PC. I have a daily oh, release on YouTube. did it PC. again. Why and doesn't it fucking stop doing that? <laughs> I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast in the middle of the week and every other day. I do whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me today. I am trying to set up a six-player progressive game on my main account. And it looks like we got him, so let's go. Um, playing Dino World. So I want to check out the Dino map packs. Um, two of the four seem reasonable for Freefall Progressive. The other two seem like fixed maps. Um, I'm going to, over the course of the next week or so, test them all out on my show. But we're starting with Dino World because I actually think Dino World is the best of the four for the settings I like to play. Free for all progressive world domination. And uh, I am in the last position. So settings for this game. Dino World World Domination. 60 second turns. Expert AI. We don't have any yet. Progressive cards. Balance splits dice. With no filtering of players, no alliance, no fog, no blizzard, position one, we have the blue player, Pascal Perot, flying the flag of Canada. 59 hours played, and a 37 to 1, 57 win rate. In position two, we have flying the flag of Ghana, Troy, Fujiko, 31, 5, 41 hours played, and a great record. Alright, so this guy is really, really good. Let's watch out for white in the... Third position, we have Ricardo Lang flying the flag of Azerbaijan. Five hours played, and two and fourteen. In the fourth position, we have Martina Takamoto flying the flag of Ireland. One hundred and eighty-two hours played, with eighty-five and three fifty-nine. They could be good. The green player Anthony flying the flag of France with three ninety-two hours played, two thirty to six seventy-four. Also, they could be good. And finally, myself. This is the main Pete account, Kill Pete Strategy VCC. I've decided I'm not really going to be worrying too much about my rank on my main anymore. 1,664 hours played with 1,799 wins and 662 losses. Could be win 1,800 if we manage to beat the white player. And the white player looks like a quite a grandmaster. Troy Fujiko 31 is... Look at look at these stats, right? Seventeen twenty one games, a lot of single player, and a great record. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. The bonuses break down like you have North Verdant is plus four, Mistlands, Seasonal Frost plus three plus three, East Blossom Roaming Plains plus four plus four. Redlands is 3, Frozen Waste is 3, Thundering Plains is 3, and Hunting Thickets is 4. If you can hold them, the first thing I notice is the bonuses are smaller and more flat than Classic. This is obviously a take on Classic. Hey, Sky King Player. Hey, Atala. How are you guys doing today? I am just taking a look at these dino maps. Juicy Cookie is me. Yo, Pete, my first stream has been watching YouTube for a while. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, we'll see how we do. Um, we're facing off against one really good opponent. I think the three position play still makes sense. Okay, looks like green player is going to be going for a single stack. And failed to get a card. Yeah. Oh, they manual the 2 one. Okay. They get a card there, maybe. Good for them. I lose two troops. <laughs> I don't think that position needs to exist at all, actually. I'm going to save these two. Th One, two, three, cross the bottom. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. And these don't connect, right? Right, they do not connect. Okay. I'm okay with this start. Let's take your question. Hey, Pete, how's your day going? I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. I'm uh, taking a shot at these dino maps. 
I want to see if any of them match up as far as good free-for-all progressive maps. All right, so my intuition tells me that um, a white player is not going to break blue. And that would lead blue to take this bonus. That could be good. Have them come out of the bottom and condense the available space on the map for everyone else. Big high zone. Why do you always go live when we prepare dinner in the Central Europe time zone? I don't know, man. Because I'm a rude person, I suppose. If they connected, your game would be truly rolling. I think my game is fine. I just... The one thing you really, really need to worry about is... <laughs> stupid shit like that. And, uh... Also, having really good opponents in your game, right? Interesting. Okay. So the thing about this map um, that cuts against my intuition about a multi-position play is all the bonuses are flat. So any one bonus, there isn't really a huge one that's valuable, that's like more valuable than the rest, that can keep you... Um, keep you out of everyone's way. So I think the... I think most of these dino maps are just bad for progressive. Because I think you'll see shit like this happen too much, right? Like a noob goes for their bonus, and they'll blast through a six stack in the early game. Or this happens too. <laughs> Hit it! He's hitting it! I can't believe it. What is this nonsense game? Oh my god. I hope you'll be online later. I have to sign up now. Well, enjoy your dinner, Hyzon. Sci framing. Hi Pete, just got into your YouTube a few weeks ago. Had to find your Twitch. Welcome. Great stuff. I'm glad you like. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Rwanda's here. What's up? And Gramix. Yeah, wow, I know. So you, hey, <laughs> nothing surprises me after a while. He sees all sorts of stupid shit. But this is going to be bad for me because the white player, who is my only really uh, real threat in this game, is now strong. If I put here, blue will take it. I want blue and purple to fight a war. I actually have to be in... Maybe I put there? I am still in three positions, I suppose. Uh, the white player is a danger this game for you. Great kill lines after what purple did. <laughs> Blue holds the continent. Yeah, Blue's going to hold the other continent, too. They're going to take Australia. And then and then they'll abut purple, and hopefully we see a war between the Blue and, pur and purple player. Right? Which is exactly what I didn't want to add there for. Right? So Blue's going to take a second bonus. Purple's going to use their extra troops to break, hopefully. Because they've, they've already shown their willingness to be hyper-aggressive. Oh, he's slow playing it. Good for him. That's correct. All right, so white has 28 troops. They have seven troops on me. He's going to get the easy kill on green. Take the extra card. Now what happens? Uh, white looks like he might go for the continent. No, no, he's not a new Gremix. White is very, very good. Look at these stats. 541 hours, 663 to 669. White player is very, very good. Probably a grandmaster. <laughs> Juicy cookie. I'm ass at risk, but I'm trying to learn what are the advantages of multi-positional play. No, this is progressive. So, <coughs> multi-positional play gives you two advantages in free fall progressive. It, it allows you to be... Um, able to kill in the late game because it gives you kill lines on multiple opponents and the inverse is also true it makes you harder to kill because any one opponent has to also be playing multi-positionally or be it have reasonable kill lines um, to hit you okay magenta bought it right so if they have to hit through a bunch of your opponent's stuff to kill you then that acts as like additional um troops that you have essentially when they are trying to make the kill 
So we have one bot now. I'm the weakest of the human players. Blue take Australian now. Hi guys, hey, what's up, Gando? Well, if it isn't the old wait, man, I missed that panties. What's up? What's up, guys? Um, do you get rank points for kills or nah? I'm always just trying to win. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I, I could have seen that one coming. So now purple's gonna fight a war with blue. <laughs> And white player has a card lead in 28 troops. You'll notice white player also is not taking continents, just like me. Pete, I can't stay long. I got a full essay to be written in like three hours and just jumped in to say hi. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hope you have a good essay. Whatever the topic is. Alright, so purple is going to hit blue. Let's see if they go all the way. Blue went bad neighbor first and failed to break. That's going to be real bad. They do go all the way. Great. This is going to weaken blue. Let me see if I can line up my kill. So I'm going to add to these positions now. Because blue is going to be here and here. And I think blue is going to be removed. Magenta bot sets in. Where's that seven going to go? Okay. Okay, okay. White player will will lose that five stack. He oops the bot. Interesting. White player will lose that five stack if he is not careful. Because it is the last territory inside a bot continent. And another rule I like to share with you all is if you are sitting in the last territory in a bot continent, right, roaming planes, the bot will likely prioritize taking it. And it will do all sorts of stupid shit. Okay, blue sets in. Blue's gonna hit purple, but purple will have cards after that, so maybe purple's the fish. Either way this war goes, yeah, you cry. 8v3. I have reasonable kill lines on purple too. Excellent. Either way this cookie crumbles. I think I benefit from that war. <laughs> Okay, white forced to trade, but um, players have already set. So he actually gets the eight, the card advantage for taking that one troop. I should have gone for that. I didn't expect my opponents to set in early. I think he moves that seven up and consolidates. Here's where the game gets interesting. Consolidates here. That is a different move. Consolidates there, so he can only hit me. Purple sets and gets the 10. There's no reason for me to not take the 12 now if I can make a kill. I also don't really want to be sitting on five cards because then white could have a lucky set on three and kill me. Can I kill someone? Let's see what Magenta does. Over 
three is gone. We can put purple in one place. I don't really want to set right now, but at the same time. <laughs> I don't want to be holding five cards, so here we go. Still in three positions. Got okay kill lines on white. As long as white doesn't set, I can probably kill. No, because how do I get the six? That's the problem. Oh my god, blue's gonna keep hitting purple. <laughs> Unreal. What's up, Lord of Chaos? All balls kill white. Maybe. It's just, I, I wouldn't be able to get both here is the problem. I'm not trying to lose this game. As much as I'm not going to really, really worry about ranked games on my main, I'm still not going to want to lose them. Guten Tag. What's up, Zeterio? Does white have cards? Suspenseful. I've been given a sub. I like this. Yes. Lucky lucky. Pete, are you a wheel or a doors guy? What does that mean? He says, oops. Has he disconnected? That's too bad. I think white player has a glitch because he can emote. Okay. Purple and blue war continues. I just need to stay out of trouble. If my only real opponent disconnected, then I'm laughing. You guys are having a conversation in chat that I don't understand. Okay, purple loses their final exterior position. Purple's down to 14 troops. If blue is set, blue can kill him. Um, let's see if I have cards. Okay, so now I'm positioning myself to kill blue and or purple, right? I'm not going to worry about the bot. I'm going to try and not worry about white. Maybe they reconnect. I don't have cards on three. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Blue didn't really leave themselves an opportunity to take a great card. Okay. So blue's going to be holding four. How do I get there? Can you come in? What do, you, what do you want, buddy? You coming inside? Yep. Yeah, looks like white glitch. Too bad. Too bad for white. <laughs> I 
All right, so do we try and take the lucky roll? Purple holding 14. That three cards would win me the game because then I could kill blue. I think I go for it. Depending on what purple does right now. <laughs> and too bad for white. Okay, I'm going to roll 10v4. It's a bot? No, he is a bot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I try it. I have to try it. Okay, pink sets and gets the 15. White loses nine troops. Oh, white loses so many troops. But I don't have an open line here. Oh my god, what do I do? I think I have to try and kill purple and get good dice. Oh, wish me luck, guys. Fuck. No, it's too weak. We switched to try and kill blue. Damn it. Didn't get that either. This is bad. But blue doesn't kill purple. <laughs> and doesn't get a card. Excellent. Can purple kill blue? Pete, fuck this door shit. It's wrist time, baby. Yeah, that's why I didn't really engage with it. It, it, it seems like a nonsense question. Um, why not kill white? I couldn't get the eight, so I had to go through myself to get to that eight. That was the problem. I, I would have tried to kill white otherwise. Does pink know how to play? Pink's a bot. I might be the fish, yeah. But I don't think so. I think with white botted, or with white glitched and, and pink botted, I can kill blue and purple and win. <laughs> yeah, it's very likely I am the fish, though, in a normal circumstance. What do you want? What do you want, buddy? You want to sit in my room? Hi. It's a weird way for this game to end. Okay, so unless purple sets. and kills blue, I probably win. Let's see if he does it. Nope, no set? Ooh, probably gonna be holding five cards. Amazing, I killed them both. He's a bot too? <laughs> All right, that's game. And we kill everybody. Let's go. Hi, Reggie. Do you wanna see me kill everybody? Do you wanna see me kill the people? Pete's pussy wants to sit on his lap. They all do, Buckford. They all do. How are you, man? Oh, I lose my eight shit. I lose my eight stack. Alright, now we're talking. Got the bounty. I think I get all the bounties. I think I get everybody except the green player.
Winning these in games? Better lucky than good, right? Should Pink have killed you on this last turn? Pink is a bot. And there you have it, guys. Alright, that one worked out. Streamer luck. It happens to me all the time. Yeah, Grandmaster, I knew it. Alright, so defeating three beginners, an intermediate, and a Grandmaster. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast in the middle of the week and every other day I do whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good